Let's talk about Opie and Anthony blind gossip items. All right. Ian Halpern does this. By the way, Ian Halpern gave us the scoop on Matt Lauer, but didn't mention him by name when he said TV host having an affair. And uh, Matt Lauer is uh, uh, denying that that is the case, but that's the that's the guy that Ian Halpern was talking about in one of those blind items a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Yes, but Lauer saying no fucking way, it's just not true. So, but we got our own blind items with Club Soda Kenny. Go ahead, Kenny. Yeah. What's the music? Do we need dramatic music for everything? Kind of do, but you don't. How about a dance song? Because you like the you like the strobe. Uh, show tunes, anything. <laughs> no, what what dance song would you like for your blind item, Danny? Uh, yeah, how about one of those faggoty disco songs that Kenny listens to? Uh, oh, Kenny, see oh, what Danny just did shock. there. I know. That was a shock. It's all right. It's okay. It's par for the course for Mister Negative Energy. Ooh, oh, oh. I'm negative energy when this guy's falling asleep on the couch. I'm, I'm negative energy. That's nice. Yes, Sleeping Kenny. has nothing to do with being, uh, you know, a Kenny, negative it's, Nancy. It's no big surprise you don't like me. Say whatever you're going to say. Ooh. Uh, oh. You keep insisting that. You don't, You think Kenny doesn't like you, Danny? I know Kenny doesn't like me. How do you know? The way that you've treated me over the last four years. How, how is that? <laughs> Kenny, why don't you do your little bit? Oh. No, no, no. Let's do let's this do, uh, bit. Let's do blind items. No, people with love Kenny. this nonsense. <laughs> To explain to me how and why I don't like you. No. You brought it up. That's a fair question. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know, I'm not allowed to get breakfast, uh, my order in here anymore. So I have to actually leave the room. Kenny has instructed interns to not come in here and get anything for me or bring me anything in here. Uh, maybe that has something to do with it. Okay, incorrect. Boom. Well, point, gee, point, counterpoint there. Well, what's what's Kenny? What's what's Danny's thinking? Something? What's the? He he he's <clears throat> blaming me for something I shouldn't have the blame for. Right? It it was brought to the executive producer's attention that it was distracting for interns to come in and for you to order breakfast. Okay. So, so why I get the blame for that is beyond me. There's so many things that I like. I should have kept the list because now they just they're in one ear and out the other. There's okay, well, your first so one was things. incorrect. What's your next one? Uh, Kenny, just, just but there's do whatever so you're many. Do. <laughs> do whatever you're doing, Kenny. No, there's so many. Do, uh, you know what? I'll give you five minutes to think. Thanks, Ken. Are oh, you mad now? You took your headphones off? No, I'm not. Go ahead. Oh, my goodness. You brought it up. You brought up. How, how am I Mr. Negative Energy if we're going to start, if we're going to come up with lists of things to talk about? Go ahead. No, the ball's in your court. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to know, because that, that's what was brought up first. No, so how am I said, Mr. Negative Energy? Then? You said, I don't like you, and I'm waiting for the reasons of to justify your statement. Well, where did your statement come from? Where was that? Where'd Mr. You pull negative Energy, ask from? anybody on the staff. No, what ask you, because you, right. you don't like me, so I'm Mr. Negative no, no, Energy to no. you. You mean nothing to me. It's not that I don't like you. You mean nothing to me. Okay. All right? have, and, but and but the point. thing is... Take a poll, all right? If Danny doesn't do it, Danny doesn't like it and thinks it's a shit idea. That's not true at all. Take a poll. Where should I take it? Ooh. With the staff. That's where you should take it. Okay. All right? But I'm still waiting for you to justify why you think I don't like you. Because one time... Uh, the, you, you, they were talking about you, Kenny. and I piled on just to be funny, and you go, oh, I never knew Kenny didn't like me. I, I was just I've piling on before. to be funny. We used to, we used to joke around at CBS all the time, and, and you, it was always, it was always Sam time, and you didn't want to, there was never any friend, friendliness with me, so I just let it go. It's, it's obvious, Kenny. It's obvious. Said the blind man. <laughs> <laughs> If it's so obvious, how come you how can't justify anything? Okay. Wait, do you have your own poll? No, I don't. You said, how, how about we take a poll? It's true. <laughs> Who's supposed to talk here? George went back in here. So there's no problem between you and him? <laughs>
No, look, look, look. Does it bother me he doesn't say hello to me every day? No. No. A lot of people despise me. It's, it's okay. It's all right. He thinks I don't like him. That's fine. He tells people he thinks I don't like him. I know he tells people. But it's fine. I don't think anything of him not to dislike him. Dan, how come you think Kenny doesn't like you though? I mean, that's a fair question. I mean, you know just I mean? the way that just the way that I've interacted with Kenny over the last five years that I've known the guy, I, that's the impression that I get. That's the impression that I get. No, I've ha I've had one bad interaction with you that I can remember, which you can blame on alcohol. What happened? He was sneaking people backstage. At First a of all, that's not true. Show. First of all, that's not true. Right that's off the bat. So if you want to, if you want to talk about truths and non-truths, that's not true. That's There's cool. no alcohol involved. First of all. Second of all, if you really want to get into this, uh, it, there was no sneaking at all. The pass was an escort pass. I had some friends at the show. They said, "Hey, you know, can we?" Go? I wasn't bringing a thousand people backstage. I was escorting a couple of friends of mine and then escorting them out. And it was a, it was to my knowledge that that was okay. And then I got dragged aside by Kenny, who screamed in my face, and that was the end of it. Kenny? And since that day, I don't think uh, me and Kenny have ever gotten along on anything. That was it? Before that, it was nice? Yes. That's not even worthy of me to debate about him. Why? Because he, he knows he was drinking that day. Wow, right? Kenny, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You weren't? Maybe I had a beer or two, but you, you make it sound like I was some fall-down drunk. Just going, ah, all my friends could come back and party. It was nothing remotely close to that. All right. Yeah, all right. Who are you trying to convince, me or you or, or the radio listeners? Kenny, I'm just telling you what <laughs> happened. I don't give a fuck what you think. I'm telling you how I it know. happened. I'm, I'm wrong. You're right. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, dude, I'm just telling you. I don't give a fuck what you think. I'm just telling Ooh. you. That's, that's how Language. it went down. I remember, I remember it quite clearly. Of course you do. And that's how it was. That's why you didn't bring it up, because you remember it so clearly. When you said there was so many reasons. Yeah, What's next? One. Your bid, apparently. See? He just wants to change the subject. Would that be negative? No, he just, you know, he doesn't want to talk well, about it. Maybe, because Danny's saying he wasn't bringing people back that were... So what made you think that he was bringing back people that weren't supposed to be back there? I, don't, because, I honestly don't remember. Because I was standing right next to him when he was whispering to all his friends, bringing him through the stage door. He didn't even realize I was there. Dude, what are you even talking about? How many of my, how many of my friends were backstage at one, at one time? That I don't know. One. Because I was told that you could, with the, with the pass or whatever it was, it was explained to me that you could escort somebody back there. That's, what, that's how it was explained to me. I wasn't leaving a group of people back there. I would... I would escort them in, and I would escort them out. And then for some reason, all of a sudden, it was a problem, and then it didn't happen again. It was a problem because you were wrong, and you were spoken to about it. That okay. was a show. It wasn't a free-for-all party I understand, backstage. and I don't feel that it was a free-for-all. I felt that, that given the parameters that were in place, I didn't feel like I was doing anything wrong. When you had alerted me to the fact that it was not appropriate, I stopped. But I felt that that's in, true. in the way, well, that's fine. And you have, and, and you could run, you know, you could run your security however you'd like. And that's fine. And I respect that. And I did respect that. I felt that maybe the reaction was a little over the top. But your view, of, your, your recollection of the account is nowhere close to what actually happened. Sorry. Okay, sorry. And this is where I wasn't drinking wrong? that day. Excellent, Ken. What's that, GH? That's where it all went wrong? No, I forgive and I forget. <laughs> but before that incident, you guys got along? Yeah, I always Dana? got along with the guy. Was that when it all went wrong? After that day? I don't know. I've tried, like I said, I've tried to be very nice to Kenny, and it's, I've always been met with indifference. How do you try? By not saying hello to me every day? Is that how you try? When, when should I say hello to you, Kenny? When I'm, when I'm in, the, in the office prepping for the show? When, am I, when should I say hi to you? No, like when you walk down the hallway. Travis, to... do I say hi to you when I come in in the morning? No, we're all very quiet in the morning. Do I say hi to D-Boy no. or Sam? Sam, do I say hello to you when I come in in the morning? I think you guys should be saying hi to each other. I'll be. I you will... see each other every day. Just I. I I'm not a big. I'm not a big would... good morning guy. I don't say good. I don't say good morning to the security guards. I just. I'm not a. I'm not. A, I'm not I one of these cheery the good morning guys. And I yell a big hi. 
even though you guys got headphones on, hoping you hear it, just to, just to you know, start the day off nice with a little high. You guys really don't say hi to each other? Yeah, maybe people won't think you're so negative if you give everybody a big hearty hello. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to try it, Ken, because I, I, I need to make sure that I, that I make you happy during the no, day. No, not me. I'm sorry that you think that I'm Mr. Negativity, but uh, I don't know. You, you're allowed to have your opinion of me. I'm allowed to have my opinion of you. I don't understand why this is even exactly, on the air. Exactly, but you got to back it up. What did you guys used to do? Joke and stuff? That's the thing. I would try to joke with Kenny, and Kenny just, he would have no... From, like he, from like day one, him you guys and didn't Sam get along? Will, no, him and Sam will have, like, back at CBS, because that's back when I was in the back office where there was, it was a little more social. Right, right. And, uh... You know, you try. You know, you try to have your fun. And uh, are you, you know, jealous that these two get along? Oh, Kenny not at and all. Sam? I could, no, I could give a fuck. Kenny, what? What was the question? Do you like Sam better? Is that the problem? No, oh, Sam's a little prick. I don't trust as far as I can throw him. <laughs> but you get along with him. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not that. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't not. trust me. Sam. It's not that at all. It's all just right. that I. It was. It was blatantly obvious that, like, you know, if Sam threw something out there, Kenny would run with it. And then if I tried the same gag. It was just like, you know, he'd look up from the computer screen and like that was it. So I'm like, all right, I guess I'm not joking with Kenny. Is that true, Kenny? <laughs> I can't recall. <laughs> Your brain's too small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have that ability? Yeah. Jimmy? So well uh, So I have to back up stuff, but he doesn't have to. Okay. I that, can't Jimmy? recall. <laughs> what is this all about? Yeah, can we work in very close quarters here? I yeah, mean well, we're around each other a lot. I think it's weird that that even people that get along don't Kenny? say hi in the morning. I, I understand why let's, you two, just, two aren't saying hi, but you obviously on. get along with Travis and Derek and, and Sam, right? A I get bit. along yes. with everybody. So, all right, so, but why don't you guys say hi to start the day? I That's just think weird that it's, to me. it's early and we're just not, Even we, if, none of us are, the, are, are that guy. You're being cordial is overrated. Really? Even if I'm in a bad mood, I'll at least give a nod like, hey, what's up? You we're about to do to, radio together You here. do say hi to Steve to your credit. Yeah, and, you know, Steve. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I even give him a hi. <laughs> that's just uh, you know when we get in it's early we just want to sit down and get our shit done. I, I really that's think it. that's weird but i mean that's just me not saying you guys should have a hey what's going on how you feeling blah 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 but i don't we yeah. don't we typically don't say goodbye either we, we're in we're out i say hello to you every morning i got nothing else to talk about because i'm not that bright tomorrow, i'm not a good conversationalist tomorrow can you make sure my seat is clear by the way oh uh, yeah yeah uh, i had a little yeah. lapse in judgment <laughs> I sat on something that maybe I shouldn't be sitting on <laughs> in Was Kenny's it car. <laughs> no. And it made the no. uh, doorman very uncomfortable this morning when yeah. he saw what I sat on. Yeah. 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 Uh, but it's not about that right now. So how are we going to uh, yeah, solve so, this? So, Kenny, what do you think? Maybe, I mean, maybe this is a good thing. Uh, maybe Danny good. and uh, Kenny could solve their differences. Kenny, what do you need from Danny? Nothing. We, you know, we could just be cordial and 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 work together and be Kenny, nice. I'm cordial with you. I don't think that I've been, I've ever been uh, uncordial with you. But when you come in here and you know you make a comment, I'm gonna make a comment back because I didn't bring it. I didn't. I didn't start this. I didn't start any of this stuff. You you had a comment to make, so you made your comment. Okay. What was What's the, the point? What was the comment? The okay. point is, is that I didn't start this. You brought it up, so. Have fun with that. About being negative? Yeah. It started with Danny making poking fun at Kenny's musical taste, and then Kenny responded by calling it Because negative. I can't joke. Everybody could joke except for me. Because well, it's me, it's personal. Well, now we can't do Kenny's bit because you kind of just said, well, do your bit, which makes it awkward for everybody. Cause now, oh, yeah, no. Were you offended <laughs> now we can't do Kenny's bit. <laughs> were you offended when Danny said that? Did you think he was kind of taking a shot at you? Which part? Not offended, but do you think he was taking a shot? The music. Kept saying Kenny responded with something that was kind of like, you know. Oh, yeah, And yeah. I'll tell you something, Kenny. I, it wasn't smashing you, but it is a known fact. Like, when you did your DJ thing, it was it was the disco songs, and no one really expected you, the big, the big you know, Maluk Kenny, to listen to, to 70s disco music. And it was, a, it was a goof. And then you responded with something that was really real. All right, then I apologize. I didn't mean it. <laughs> You see, <laughs> Cordial. I love it. This is the, yeah. I just love. So I should. So I should say. I should say good morning to Kenny. Yeah. All right. No, so you, uh, you should start by saying good morning to the people you do like around here. That so would you don't be a think, start. So you don't think Kenny's apology was sincere? <laughs> That's a good question, Jimmy. Oh, I mean, is this a real question? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, th I thought we we're just joking. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I don't think. Of course, so. we're joking. Kenny. No, I always take the high road and do the right thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So you and you and Danny seem good now. <laughs> yeah. 
What will happen tomorrow? Tomorrow's another day. But what will happen? Do you think there'll be a high or something? Maybe maybe this breaks the ice and gets you two back together. Does it sound like you guys had fun before the big incident? Time the will tell, show. GH. And that's when it went wrong for good? What? The virus show? I don't know. I told you, man. I don't think Kenny... I, I could recall some other things that was like real early on. Well, what? Sam, like, like what? It's, it's, Let's get it I out. Know, like, I, like this, was... We're not going back to this anytime soon. Yeah. We'll actually have a radio <laughs> show to do tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I remember there was one time I called Kenny uh, because uh, Zig, you know, you guys know Ziggy. 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 I mean, Ziggy. for the radio fans out there, he's, it, it's a long story. But anyway, Love he called Zig. me for uh, some virus tickets. And, uh, you know, I'm not the guy who, who divvies out tickets. So I said, well, let me go through the proper channels and let me talk to, to Club Soda. I'm not going to promise you anything until I talk to Kenny. Right. So I had, I called Kenny and I said, Hey, you know, Zig is looking for a couple of tickets. He said, How many? And uh, I think it was, I think it was, I mean, it wasn't a lot, but it was more than the normal plus one. I think it might have been like plus three or four. Mm -hmm. And all Kenny really had to say was, Oh, you know, that's a lot of tickets for one person. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll give you. And then whatever Kenny thought would be acceptable. But instead of, of taking that approach, Kenny just decided to say, Well, if he thinks that that's appropriate, then I guess that it is. And like I went back and forth like four or five times until the, I just gave I was like, Kane, look, can you have the tickets or not? You know, like I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm just asking for a friend, and then you're you're coming back to me, and, you know, with snarkiness, and I, I'm just trying to ask a favor for a friend. Either the answer is yes or the answer is no. That wasn't a good answer. What I said? No, I didn't feel so. I didn't feel that it was. What? Because I I wasn't going to say no to the guy. Yeah, but you're also you're also coming across, putting putting it in my court. Making it a judgment call for me to to decide whether or not that his request is valid or not, and I'm just I, it's not my it's not I, it's not my business to make that call. You tell me you're the ticket guy. I went through the proper channels. I said I said I have to go to Kenny. So you're you're the man that to to ask about stuff like this. So either you approve or you disapprove. There's no middle ground. Either you say yes or you say no. I don't fuck it. I don't need to sit on the phone for 20 minutes playing games about two tickets. I could give a fuck. Either it's yeah or it's no. It wasn't two tickets. You said it wasn't two tickets. I said it was well b b b above and beyond the norm of one plus one. So right. let's call it one plus three. Right. So if, if so if if you felt that it was an inappropriate request, that's all you have to say. I don't have to sit on a phone and play little games with you. You just say no. I don't think that's an appropriate thing. I'll I'll you know he could have this and this and that's that. Well, if I thought that, that's what I would have said. I said what I thought. Why is well, anyway, like that's that, that's uh, that, that's I think I still that's, that's one of the first. Uh, I still don't know why you guys things. don't like each other after twenty minutes of this, half hour of this. I really don't. It's just vibes, man. You, like, want, you, know, you want Kenny you know to pay Mr. attention to you? Uh, what's that? I don't know. Do you want Kenny to pay attention to you? Like as, I don't really understand I, I, why. I, think, I feel the same way as Kenny, where he's where he doesn't give a fuck if I exist or not. I'm right. pretty much the same way with him. I, I mean, if he's here or not, why are we I talking less. about this? I don't know. I don't know. Jimmy, well, you guys obviously both have certain feelings on it. I mean, uh, you know, it's like they both—they both are not completely indifferent. We work—we work in too close a quarters to be totally indifferent because literally starting, twenty hours a week we're together. I'm starting to think there's a man crush. Twenty-five hours a week, and um, Kenny might have his man crush on Sam and not Danny's. I think it has it, nothing to do with that. No, I just—I I mean, was a joke. I just come in. <laughs> I mean, I, I know, but I'm saying I, I come in. I, I do. I do the stuff that is assigned to me to do. And I don't feel that, that one of my, my show duties is being super nice and friendly with Kenny. I don't give a fuck. Kenny, do you want Danny to be super nice to you? No, not super nice. He can, he can be the same way he continues to be. What's that? Ignores me. I it's think, up to uh, him. I, Sam? I think Danny and Kenny both feel that they are owed a certain amount of respect from the other. Not above and beyond what anybody else gets, but... Kenny feels he should have X amount of respect from Danny, and Danny feels he should have X amount of respect from Kenny, and neither... Why don't you shut up? All You're right, so Kenny. wrong. I'm not... I, I don't, don't, I don't what, what, I got a big head, I got to walk around here demanding respect? I get no respect. I think... I'm, I'm the big O for the show. Right, that's your line. You say these things, but I think that you feel you're owed a certain respect from staff members, and Danny feels that he is owed the same respect, and neither of you two think you're getting that's it. That's not true at all. I, actually, that's not true. Hey, ha, ha, I, I, I don't we care. both disagree. I don't, okay. I don't care if Kenny respects Stupid. me or not. It's just that I have a problem I have a problem with Kenny when it almost seems like like he goes out of his way to make sure I don't like him. If, is that weird? But you don't care if he exists. You can't, I, I, you can't How have do both I go out of my way? Well, you call me Mr. Negativity. That, that's number one. Yeah, and I, I've, I've, heard, I've heard that from another... I didn't go from out of my way for that. I was already here. I went. I heard that from another source. 
uh, that was called that that had used that exact phrase. So like, I kind of know where it's coming from. All right. Who? Kenny. <laughs> You, you obviously, you, you've said something to other people about it, so that's fine. I would appreciate if you could come to me if you feel that way. I'm sorry that you actually had to go elsewhere to, you know, to get your point across. Of, you know, about how you felt. That's fine, whatever. It's a two-way street. You didn't come to me and say, What do I have to come to you with? What do I have to come to you with? Why don't you like me? I don't care. That's not, that's not then, something that I care about. If you don't care about. so much, then what are you caring about? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. So there's a negativity in the air? In Kenny general, seems to think so. Uh, everybody, they can come to their own conclusions. But you're saying? Yeah, like Danny said, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Hmm. That's all. Man, maybe it's me. In the end, maybe it's just you? Yeah, man. Well, now we can't know. do your bit because he, he called a do your little bit, which makes No, it we have to do it. There's good stuff here. I would like to do it on, we have the, a guest waiting as well. on the Opie yeah. and Anthony show. Then you're going to keep it positive while he does his little bit? Of course. Yeah? What if it doesn't go well? Well, it's, then it'll speak for itself. Yeah, it's not <laughs> going to go well. It's not supposed to go well. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> the bit. That's the bit. To not go well. That's your bits, right? Yeah. They're not supposed to go well. Yeah. That, that's an easy place to be. That's the beauty of me. See, I hope my bits go well. Maybe, I, maybe I, I'm looking at no, this wrong. No, no expectations. It's the best way to go, right? Yeah. All yeah. right, so how do we get into this awkward bit? I just talk. I just start. Well, I was, how, long, how, how long is the bit? Quick. Okay. And so then we'll get Mike Baker in here? Yeah, we got him. Mike's in. All right. So Serious maybe man. some music should start the... Yeah, but that's where this whole, whole thing started, because yeah. Danny said something about... What was it? Faggy dance? What disco was music. Was it faggy in there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Faggity. Faggity. Faggity disco music. So why would you bring the music thing up, Sam? Just to start everything? I don't... I mean, just to start the bit, I guess. Who do you think is less cordial to each other? For real. Yeah, Sam, I, Sam doesn't hold back. What's going on here? I think that... I think what I said about the respect thing is more accurate than they're letting on, because I think that they're neither one of them are cordial to each other. They both... I think make it so that they don't care that the other one knows that there's a lot of caring going on here, though. Yeah, I'm for, not going to beat a dead horse. Right, Kenny. Kenny doesn't like it when people disrespect him or don't like him. Yeah, I know when to cut my losses. And Danny doesn't Danny, like. He's still Kenny going. Doesn't like him. Yeah, I'm still going because there's a show. <laughs> <laughs> is this interesting to anybody yeah. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah hey man we 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 officially said this is a bizarre show so when when you make it official then you just go with all the weirdness and you, you try not to bring it back on track anybody who doesn't like conflict is no friend of mine yeah in the end i blame anthony for calling in sick last minute we'll blame him tomorrow and george went and george went and his stupid beer and his yeah. dumb hangover i think all right, uh, Kenny, now the awkward bit that everyone's been waiting for, including hit, Danny. Hit the disco music. <laughs> <laughs> what disco song do you want? That might bring everyone back together. A nice, happy disco song. Faggity disco song. Yes, I'm very I don't know. Faggity. What about Sister Sledge? I wonder why I'm the greatest dancer. Travis, do you have that? And Danny did not roll his eyes, so that's good. He's going with this. It's up to him. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, Kenny. I don't have that. But don't they play that on the stroke? Maybe it's called of something else. Of course they do. Where's Joe Causey when you need him? What would you say the song is called? Maybe that's not the name it's of it. The, the band is Sister Sledge. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know the name. It's like, I wonder why is the we greatest dance. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, maybe. We are family. You want We Are Family? Yeah, okay. okay. Well, that's what it's called. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Kenny's I'm not bit. smart. All right, this is Blind Items with Club Soda Kenny. Get into it. <laughs> Kenny's little bit. <laughs> Which o &A producer coincidentally took a sick day the same day as Nicole Bigham's of the morning mashup? Really? This is a blind item? Juicy. I know Sam was out yeah. Friday. Friday, Sam had a uh, sick day. <laughs> I'm not a producer. I was out Friday. Yeah, uh, are we looking at Sam? Sam and uh, Nicole Bigham's are hooking up? Oh, um, no. You didn't hear from me. <laughs> you didn't hear from me? 
Why? She was out and Sam was out. Oh, coincidentally, they both had sick days. Hey, good for you, Sam. I guess she was sick. I was not in. We were not even... With the, we, we didn't even speak to each other that day. All right, if that's what you say, if that's the story you're sticking to. Yeah. We have another blind item? Oh, yeah. Oh, this little bit's continuing, huh? Yeah. Now you're mad at Kenny, too? Yeah. By the end of this, I think we're all going to be mad at you, Kenny. Fine. Jimmy, are you mad at Kenny yet? I'm not, actually. No, no you're good with him? No. He will be after this one. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Which o a show member will be in Seattle on Friday, May 28th? <laughs> Danny's not laughing, though. Danny, you could have laughed at that. He's giving you a shit-eating grin right now. <laughs> <laughs> See, this isn't supposed to be good. Uh, right, Kenny? That's what you I'm said? I'm confused. I thought it, is, is it, I thought it wasn't supposed to go good. Is it going good? I don't know. It's not for me to decide. I, uh, it's up to the fans. Yeah, he, he, didn't, he didn't think of it, so it's no good. Oh. Oh. Yep. See, why you got to be Mr. Negativity, Kenny? Wait, what does that mean, Kenny? Sam, do you know what that means? I I'm really confused. Kenny's implying that uh, Danny doesn't appreciate bits that Danny is not involved in. Danny? I, I don't have to like this bit. That's my opinion. Mm. But at the same time, that isn't true. Do you like bits that other people bits do? Are, bits are fine. Name one bit that you weren't uh, part of that you liked. Just to prove that uh, Kenny's wrong. Well, all right. Well, what kind of bit? What, what are we talking? Like a no. Sam is saying that Kenny's saying like ch- cherry that darts if you're is fun. I didn't invent cherry darts. That's a fun bit. But you, I mean, you were involved in it. Why? Because I showed up. <laughs> I mean, you organized. It. Someone had to show up Friday. Well, because <laughs> because I because people emailed an email address that I was checking. It doesn't. What, how, how am I involved with cherry darts? You organized it and you played. I, I don't You're see how you follow. All right, all right. Uh, next blind item from Kenny. We got Mike Baker standing by. Yeah, I'm probably. Which O and A intern <laughs> left a bar in a huff after Bobo called him a redheaded faggot? I don't know the intern's names. The one that looks like Bozo, <laughs> Dustin. His name's Dustin. Is that really what happened? Yes, it is. Yeah. Bobo said what? <laughs> called him a redheaded faggot. The interns went out drinking, and Love Buzz was coaxing Bobo to speak badly of uh, Dustin. This was after Cherry Darts? Yes. Okay. Danny threw his mic away. He's not liking this. <laughs> no, I just... <laughs> it was in my way. I put it to the side. <laughs> and I saved the best for last. All right. Which o a show member is celebrating a birthday next week... And wants everybody to give them lots of presents. Ooh. Ooh. I, I got a birthday coming up Sunday. Pingo, we have a winner. Bingo. It's, Not yeah, the listener. I, I was in, imitating Voss. Uh, yeah, because Voss says Pingo. Yeah. I don't mind presents. Yeah, no, I think the listeners yeah. should show their appreciation yeah. and send you a lot of gifts. What's the address? It's uh, Sirius XM Radio, 1221 Avenue of the Americas. Attention, Greg Opie Hughes, New York, New York, 10020. <laughs> Is that it, Kenny? That's it. That's my contribution. Danny, was that good? It was excellent. I thought it went very well. Thank you, Did Daniel. I? I accomplished what I needed to do. What was that? Kill time. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we're doing. Mm-hmm. Could you uh, interrogate Danny and find out why he doesn't like Kenny and interrogate Kenny to find out why he doesn't like Danny? I caught that first episode of the uh, Kenny Hates it, Danny show. Yeah, there's something. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. No, we, I, yeah. I, we spoke outside in the hall for... You and Kenny did? Yeah, yes. like 25 minutes. I'd rather have that yeah. on the air. Yeah. Nah, that awkward right. talk after after the conference. Here it, comes you guys seem to end on a good note. We'll I see. Say, yeah, we'll you see seem to end happens. on a good note. Right. Yeah, I mean, you know, we try to you know have a real discussion as human beings. I think that I, you think know, the I don't sh- think there could be any promises made, but I think that I think, uh, the show's, I, I think, I think what the, the fuck did you say about me? <laughs> <laughs> see, I called you. I called you a scumbag. Actually, under you guys my breath. made up and you don't even tell me. That shit has to well, be on the air. No, we just came to a conclusion. What's the conclusion? Oh, it's going to ruin everything. It's going to yeah. ruin 25 minutes. Yeah. Watch this. <laughs> yes, Kenny, what's the conclusion? Well, you got a legitimate guy here. Mike. Mike yeah. Baker. Is, this yeah. Mike, is Kenny's mic on? Yeah. yeah it sounds really I think it's because there's too many mics on right okay. now. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I can't do anything about that. Kenny. Are those I'm guests sorry. Mike on? Because usually they take out. No, no. Yeah. Okay. No, I saw them. They had a nice little conversation after the show. Everything went well. Danny walked away. Kenny looked at me and said, "What Kenny? a fucking douche." Well, <laughs> I knew uh, it. What's your take on the conversation that you and Danny had? I'm terrific. Misunderstanding. That was what you took away from that conversation. I'm yeah. terrific. He took away that he's terrific. <laughs> was it a misunderstanding? Yeah, who's better than me? I think somewhere along the line, I think the show got like split into teams and stuff. I think we got to bring the whole team back together. Yeah, team I think we all got to start by staying high in the morning. <laughs> I, I did start mention, with a, a good old I, high. I did mention to Kenny that we all do work for the same show here, and it, it just seems a little odd that there there would be you know bullshitty little infighting like that. So let's just all make the show as as good as it could be. Kenny, you're good with that. Yeah, I got. I got to tell you, as, as a former CIA officer, I, I'm not really buying his body language. He didn't. He didn't look like he was selling himself completely there. There's, 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 a, there's an underlying issue. I don't want to play Doctor Phil, but it's an underlying issue. If, if I were you, I wouldn't get in a dark room with this guy because he's going to beat the oh, shit never, out of you one day. There's a lot of rage. I just have to. There. I mean, I, I don't. I don't have to trust Kenny. I just have to function with him. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> but Mike, that's a very uh, good point. Now, uh, by this 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 body language that Kenny has, if you could even call it that. What can you tell us about uh, Kenny? What can, hey, you, what, what can you say? You know what? He's, uh, first thing, he's a stand-up guy. He's, he's, he's standing there. He's open, right? I mean, if he was standing there, his arms were crossed. He was kind of you know, looking down, kind of looking at you sideways or whatever. Mm -hmm. you know, but the way he's standing, very open. You mm -hmm. know, I don't think he's trying to hide anything except for his dislike of Danny. And frankly, I've just <laughs> met Danny. I understand. Uh, <laughs> but no, I, I, I think just taking him right there, his, his posture is basically an uh, uh, open, honest stance. The way Un unapologetic, he's almost. Yeah. Uh, he's unapologetic, not going to bullshit. Yeah. 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 It's very accurate. Mm -hmm. Kenny's a guy who... Uh, Kenny... The interesting thing about Kenny... And, and Kenny, uh, when, when he was Dice as a road manager and, and, and security guy, you know, Kenny at times goes... is hard for people to, to take because Kenny can be very harsh. But I've never met a guy who was less phony when it came to wanting people to like... Like, Kenny will tell you... And I might have told about your situation. Mm -hmm. Kenny will go, no... Like, I'm such a weasel, it's hard for me to say no. It's really hard for me, but Kenny w it will say the things that yeah. he he, we loves, all kind of want to say. Yeah. He loves saying those things, too. It, yeah, the fact that he, he has a, a tenting in, in the front of his pants is the problem. Yeah, we think he gets boners when he, when he says no. <laughs> when he ruins someone's day. But I, it, it's, it's an ability that I kind of admire because yeah. I, I want to be liked so much. And it's not that he doesn't, but Kenny's willing to do things that are going to make him not liked. And I'm really not talking about this situation. I'm talking about stuff that's happened on the road with club owners. Mm -hmm. Like, well, they'll try to fuck you for an extra few tickets. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, don't you think? And Kenny's like, I counted 350. You're saying 330. He just calls the guy out. It's like, you have yeah. an ability to do that. that I don't have. And Mike, yeah. if that's your real name. Yeah. If you're looking, yeah. For, if you're looking for new guys. Uh, I changed my name after that Stan Myers. And stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kenny, yeah. Kenny's one of those guys that should be running a... He's an interrogator, too. Yeah. You, you would he know. should be running... Are, are you cutting him loose and he's going to be looking for a job soon? Is that what we're doing? I, 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 I don't know. No, not at yeah. all. But, I mean, Kenny's trying to get his own little thing going. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying. He's, yeah. he's, well, a lot of people have a hard time with the no. He's I mean, amazing. You know, a lot of people don't want to say no. I mean, a lot of people. That's a natural. That's a natural thing. And I mean, even in the agency, you get you know personnel reviews. We have the same. We have the same systems internally. It's like you were talking about. It's it, you know, it's not a different world, right? right. It's, it's it's same processes and it's a bureaucracy, even though it's a small and it's a great operation. But personnel reviews, you get people coming in, and 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 even. CIA guys would hate, or women would hate to sit there and, and say something negative about the person they were reviewing. So what do you do? You get the same thing you get everywhere else. You kind of pass them along, right. you know, because, eh, hey, what the hell? Okay, no, you're doing a fine job. Get them out of here. Just get them out of my office or my what, team or whatever. What does uh, Kenny's dry hair tell you? Uh... You know, I think it, I tell you, he's a he's sort of guy who likes to get up in the morning and just kind of, you know, get going. You know, he's not fussing a lot about his hair. I'm probably vitamin deficient. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to know you a lot better before I could judge that. Yeah. Kenny stepped up his game today. I, <laughs> Kenny's a very uh, interesting guy. <laughs> yeah, you know what my problem is, Mike? Uh, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. That's my problem. Is it? Uh, Have you ever said anything to somebody like, 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 like for instance... Oh, uh, uh, everything. So you think your delivery needs yeah, to work? Yeah, it's all in the delivery. Yeah, yeah that yeah. that's always been my curse. Didn't you yeah. one time, like, he walked up to a woman who had a little baby, and he's just trying to be nice. He goes, nice baby! I thought that's where you were going. It's one of my dumb jokes from my act I used to do. Yeah. And, I, and you never know when Kenny's going to torture you with your own material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, if you, can, if you can diplomatically, you know, say no, that's a, that's a, that's a hell of a skill. No. And about 2% of the people on the planet have that ability. H here's a good example. Mm -hmm. Like the first time I, I worked with Jim years ago, mm. when he was opening for Andrew Dice Clay, mm. 
Big show, 5,000 people, a lot of pressure on the guy, right? Being the opening act, yeah. you got to warm up the audience. He's walking out there cold, right? He He's fairly... You know, new in the business, mm. trying to step it up a notch. Ho hope it, hoping the Dice audience is going to warm up sure. to him, right. all that yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, biggest comic on the earth at the time now. He's the, the opening act. And right before he went on stage, and there was a ritual where Andrew had a stool. And I used to set the stool with two bottles of water. And I used to put a, a towel on the rung of the stool. All right. And you didn't mess with that with Andrew's water. And Jim... His, his little crutches, he, he, he sips a lot of water while he's on I stage. I call it an asset. Yes. <laughs> See, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. See what he yeah. did right there. Look at that. So, yeah. so Jim wanted to walk out with his bottle of water, and he was going to put it on the stool while he was doing his act, right? And I told Jim right before he walked out, right, big pressure, I said, if you forget that bottle of water on the stool, when you come off stage, just keep walking. Yeah, because he likes to make you comfortable. <laughs> I almost quit the tour because of Kenny. This is like, we were in Florida, I remember, and I had never done the Vegas. Jeez. That was the big gig every year was Vegas. Dice would do ballets every year, Kenny's family and Dice's family. And so Kenny said to me, because I had never done the gig with the families, uh, Kenny just took me aside and went, you would never hurt a child, would you? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, What? Well, Dice had uh, small children at that time. Yeah, but it was just... It, Jim was a little more promiscuous yeah. back in those oh, days. Yeah. And you, really would probably, you would probably run the crim check on Jim, and so you knew to ask the question. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, you know, yeah. yeah, did you run a background check on me when I first started? I didn't care now. It's, like, it's smart if you did. No, nah, I called Florentine, and he stood up for you. He vouched for you. Oh, all right. You know. You know. Yeah. 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 